Our process really begins with the uh, Receival of grains, uh, we use a couple of ingredients that everybody else uses, but um, we try to get them as close to the distillery as possible. All of our corn comes within 20 miles of the distillery. It's a number two yellow corn, either number one or number two yellow corn, and we use the USDA grading system to grade the grain. We check for moisture, we check for broken corn and foreign material, which is basically everything else but the whole kernel of corn, and a few other tests for uh, GMO, um, uh, chemicals and um, we, we do basically a smell test. We put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, take it out to make sure it doesn't have any kind of musty odor or sour smell to it. The corn will get offloaded into the bin in the front. It's a thousand bushel bin, so it holds 56,000 pounds of grain. And the bin in the back has a d divider in it where we'll put the small grains, the rye and the barley or the wheat and the barley. The rye doesn't grow well in this area. We bought some Kentucky rye. Uh, from Glasgow and um, it was okay but the yields weren't as good as the rye that are grown in the colder climates. We have six different recipes and uh, we're producing four different bourbons and two different rye whiskeys. As far as grain combinations, I don't know of another distiller in the state that has that many recipes. There's no computer control room in here. This is done by me and another guy and then a night crew. So they're going around checking things, making sure everything's running the way it's supposed to run, constantly um, you know, smelling and tasting the distillate too. The blending process or mingling process is so important to what we do. It's more important than that. I can walk away from that after pushing a few buttons, tasting, it's very controlled over there. This is very simple too. What happens in the warehouse is really where the magic happens. This is basically a cross section of the barrel shows you how thick it is. It's about a little over an inch thick. Uh, this line right here is what we call the red line, and that's how deep the whiskey penetrated the barrel during maturing. You know, not only are we making six recipes, we're starting to change the wood, which is a key ingredient during the maturing process.